The controversial monument promoting peace in Syria has been installed in the centre of the German city of Dresden. It's made of three old buses and it symbolises the barricade in the streets of Syria's Aleppo that were erected to protect people from sniper fire. The artist behind the project says he was inspired by a Reuters news agency photograph that was taken in the city. However, this picture's drawn the attention of critics who pointed out to the flag that's flying above that barricade. One anti-migrant group noted that the flag looked like the former symbol of an Al-Qaeda-linked terror group. They then pointed out that this would mean that it wasn't the civilians, but rather the terrorists that were protecting themselves. The artist behind the installation, who is half Syrian himself and half German, defended his work, saying that it's only aimed at promoting peace and that there is no political message. Right, now, with me now to discuss that, we have Mohamed Shafiq, who's chief executive of the Ramadan Foundation, also Kavor Kalmasian, who's a political journalist and Middle East expert at the German Centre for Eurasian Studies. Uh, good evening to you both, gentlemen. Thanks very much for coming on. Uh, Mr. Almasian, I hope you can hear me. Hey. I, I want to come to you first. The artist used one specific photo as a reference point for this. People have noticed detail in it. Is it just that flag that's at issue here? Because presumably any imagery that's supposedly going to draw attention to the plight of people in an active war, someone's going to find meaning in it somewhere. Is it just the flag that's the problem or the entire principle? I believe there are two options here. Uh, number one, the uh, the artist is uh, completely ignorant and doesn't have a clue what Ahrab al-Sham is, the Salafi Wahhabi group, and what is fighting for uh, Ahrab al-Sham is fighting for in Syria. Or he uh, he simply uh, used this uh, installation in order to give a legitimacy to Ahrab al-Sham and to give a voice to this terror group in Germany itself. Actually, I uh, I checked the background of the artist on Facebook on social media and I found out that uh, uh, when the Syrian and the Russian troops were trying to liberate Aleppo from the uh, Islamist terrorists, uh, he himself posted several pictures on social media, especially the red picture that symbolizes that uh, the Syrian army and the Russian uh, forces are committing massacres in Aleppo as they claim. However, uh, the reality on the ground was completely different. Therefore, in my opinion, the whole concept of this installation in Germany is uh, controversial and it gives uh, a cultural uh, legitimacy, cultural uh, cover to a terror group that doesn't even believe in culture and civilization. Mohammed, um, yes, art is meant to provoke. Um, that's the cliche that we hear all the time. But let's be honest, this, is, this could have been more neutral imagery if this was just about drawing attention to the plight of civilians in Aleppo or Syria generally. There's a, quite a politically charged message in these upright buses, isn't there? Well, our colleague in uh, Germany doesn't really want to talk about the massacres that were committed, the innocent people that were lost uh, in Aleppo. And this, uh, uh, this uh, monument is, is, is a tribute to those people that all suffered. And whether they were uh, the opposition people, uh, I just, I'm not really interested in the politics. Uh, this is humanity. This is uh, refugees. This is innocent people losing their lives uh, by both sides. And they've paid a very heavy price. And this is to commemorate that. And this is to say that we will never, ever forget these people and what they've been through. And this trash talk that we hear uh, from our colleague uh, is just a propaganda uh, and uh, trying to make this into an issue bigger than it actually is. Uh, okay. This is just celebrating, remembering uh, and reaffirming our commitment to protecting innocent life anywhere in the world. Uh, Mr. Amassian, you're shaking your head there. This is... Th uh, this is completely untrue because when Ahrar al-Sham, Free Syrian Army and Al-Nusra Front, which is Al-Qaeda, occupied Aleppo and they besieged the western side of uh, Aleppo, they were even, uh, uh, they, when they besieged it, this is one of the pictures from uh, East Aleppo when they were besieging uh, western Aleppo. And they, it's written that it is not allowed, the same buses that they are trying to symbolize it now in Germany, it's written that it's not allowed for milk, medicine, food, and kid products to uh, to enter into West Aleppo. So if this was a humanitarian case, such a symbols should have been constructed in 2012, 2013 or 2014. Like an not apologist. after the liberation you, you of the city like from, this terror, from this terrorist group. You're you, you using propaganda am, to divert away from the real I issue. Am, here. I, am, I am simply... 
you Excuse sitting me, here, I am sitting from here Aleppo. denying am, the fact that so many Aleppo. innocent people have been killed. You, you sitting here denying that people have I, been I killed am, I, and that somehow the massacres haven't been committed. I, I mean, really, really need to wake up. What is your agenda, sir? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm from Aleppo, and when my parents and my relatives and my friends were starving, they had no food, they had no medicine, they had no water in Aleppo. You and the others, the so-called humanitarian people, were not uttering a word regarding this issue. They were celebrating the occupation of the city by these Islamist groups. If these Islamist groups really care about the humans and the civilians in Aleppo, they wouldn't invade it in the first place, and they wouldn't use this people but as we, a human we, we shield we, in we, East Aleppo. We, why would they, we, why would they invade agree. into, into, we, we into civilian neighborhoods the, and use them as, as, the as a human shield? My, my friend, we actually agree with you. I agree with you that we've got to defeat the terrorists. But the idea that you can distort what happened in Aleppo and disregard uh, tens of thousands of innocent people, including children, have been killed, uh, I think is frankly absurd uh, and a, tra a travesty of, of, of history. What this issue is, is an artist who wants to highlight the issue. Now, whether you supported the Assad government, whether you were with the opposition, the, the, the people who were not part of terrorist organizations, that, that's for another day. That's another debate, but what this is about is highlighting the injustice that's been committed. And that, yes, includes the people who've been killed by the terrorist organizations and groups against uh, innocent civilians in Western Aleppo as well. But, you know, let's be real. This is uh, an artist who's highlighting an issue, and I think that should be recognized and accepted. Mohammed, shouldn't he have used a more neutral image then? M well, he did use a neutral image. He, he replicated what is going on in Aleppo, uh, in eastern Aleppo, what went on. And so he's replicating that and alerting people, not just in Germany but around the world, to what is happening. We, we know that we have to have a political settlement. We have to have direct talks between the opposition and the Assad government about the future uh, makeup of, of, of a Syrian government. I, I'm not Syrian. That's a matter for the Syrian people to take forward. But, uh, you know, th this is an artist. This is somebody who's highlighting an issue. And I, I think, you know, reading too much into this in a, you know, a secret Islamist uh, yeah. campaign, I, I just think is, is not true. It's false and it's propaganda as we've seen today. Kabork, I want to ask you, um, I want to ask you both actually, but this first, uh, Kabork, I wanted to ask you, um, Dresden, the, the place that this has been cited, the birthplace of the anti-Islam movement, Pegida, as well as a city that, of course, suffered dreadful civilian casualties during the Second World War. What do you think of the decision to place this monument in this specific city? Actually, uh, it will certainly provoke Pegida and other anti-Islam groups in, in Dresden and in other uh, cities as well. But this is not a question about Islam versus the others, you know. Ahrar al-Sham or Al-Qaeda, they don't simply represent Islam. But, uh, and also here in Germany, there is a growing, increasing anger among the people, among the public, uh, because the German government is not prior prioritizing the security of their own people. Such a simple uh, steps this might be uh, 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 for example our guest is trying to romanticize and to give a humanitarian picture to this issue but why he used this installation and not any other thing for example why didn't he construct the citadel of Aleppo as a symbol for the suffering of the uh, of the Syrian people in Aleppo why using an installation that was used by Ahrar al-Sham which is calling for an Islamic state in Syria and uh, trying to impose a Sharia laws on the people and slaughtering anyone who opposes its ideology. This is the question. This is not a, a very neutral uh, artist trying to uh, to give a voice to the suffer of, uh, suffering of the Aleppo people. In Aleppo, there were more than 11,000 people, civilians died by the rockets and the hell cannons of Ahrar al-Sham and Al-Qaeda. And this artist didn't, his emotions didn't move and he didn't create uh, uh, a symbol for the suffering of these people. So basically, when it comes, for example, when it comes to politics, there is always double standards. But for, in humanitarian issue, it is impossible for uh, someone Mohammed. to be a double standard. And this artist well, is, is a great example this. for a double standard and a hypocrite who is trying to give a voice for the terrorist okay, organization. And, and, and Mohammed, if I could just put that well, to I you then, isn't, it, hit, isn't that humanitarian is... message going to be lost by placing an image like this in a city like Dresden, whatever... Uh, uh, awareness he's trying to raise the humanitarian suffering by putting it there in the epicenter of Germany's anti-immigration feeling it's going to stir up the wrong kind of reaction from your side isn't it 
look, all of us who are Muslims reject these terrorist uh, organizations and uh, these barbaric groups that kill innocent people. They, they, they don't represent me, they don't represent our friend uh, in Germany, and they don't represent the millions of Muslims around the world. We're clear about that. I don't think there's any disagreement about that. And yes, we can have a debate about where we go to uh, in regards to the future of Syria. And anything that we as Muslims do in Europe uh, will not be recognized by D Padiga uh, and all these far-right organizations whose main objective is to demonize Islam. And our friend there, um, you know, he, he you can attack this particular um, artist for what he is doing, mm. but he's highlighting something which has generated huge anger and distrust across the world at what is happening in uh, Aleppo. And, you know, I, I'm somebody who uh, finds it distasteful that we have people even here today uh, trying to defend a government uh, that is clearly cleaning its own people. Equally as we uh, condemn ISIS and the terrorist organizations, and okay. there has to be a political settlement okay. to what we see in Syria. Okay, gentlemen, uh, Mohammed Kavork, it's clearly extremely charged, uh, but thanks very much for your thoughts on this this evening. I really appreciate your time.